Uh, we want to talk in our opening statement tonight about something that happens more often than we wish it would, and that's damage if a tree falls. And I guess the question is simple. If it's your tree and it falls on them, or if it's their tree and falls on you, how complicated can that be legally? Well, it can be complicated. I mean, it's straightforward in one sense, but it's complicated in another in the sense that your insurance, most people think their insurance uh, company, their homeowners, will cover debris and tree removal, but it, it doesn't. So you have to be aware that if you have a rotting tree or a tree that's leaning uh, that, that could fall over, you will be responsible if you know that that tree has a tendency to fall or a limb were to fall and either damage someone else's property or uh, injure someone. So that's something that you need to be aware of because your homeowners will not cover that kind of damage. You're on the hook for that personally, so you need to be aware of that. And have you had a tree a priced tree removal lately? A big size tree? No, I had a pear tree in my backyard get uh, removed, and it was expensive and it was small. So. But a big old oak tree that's forty feet tall and been there for eighty years, it can cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars, maybe into the thousands, if there's more than one tree. Damage the tree causes usually would be covered by your insurance. Mm-hmm. Removing it is not covered. That, that, that's correct, uh, except for the instance of whether that tree was rotten. And you knew it was going to fall, and then a, a, a gust of wind, that act of God, then comes and blows it over. Well, if you needed to get that tree removed, if you knew that tree was rotten, you knew that it had a tendency to fall over, it was going to fall over, then you're, you're then responsible for that tree. And the damage it does? Correct. What, you can't, I can't look at a tree and tell if it's rotten inside. I, it's a little bit more subjective, I guess, in the sense that it, they, they hold you to a, a standard that you probably shouldn't. Okay. Uh, kind of like they hold consumers like ourselves to what's written in an insurance policy. Well, uh, lawyers have to interpret, judges have to interpret those those uh, those insurance policies. So right. you don't have to be an expert, or they don't they don't put you to being an expert okay. when you're responsible. So if a nice looking tree that falls and inside it looks kind of bad, they're, they're not going to hold you responsible for that in most cases. Yeah, in most cases, yeah. I mean, a dead tree is pretty obvious to uh, to see. You know, mm-hmm. it doesn't have any leaves. It's brown. It's black. You know, it's rotting.